Hey, what's up, bass guys? I don't know if I was out there watching this right now, but uh, bored in the basement, and uh, I was fooling around. I had to take care of uh, a bunch of things here, and uh, it was. I always have a bass nearby whenever I'm down here. I'm either fiddling around a bunch. I thought, hey, why don't I share some of the basses in my dwindling collection? Because uh, I have some ones that uh, not everyone has. Uh, I know I know at least one of the member on the board has uh, this bass I'm about to show here, Ben Butterworth, if you're out there. But uh, anyways, I wanted to. Uh, so I'll probably you know, not every day, but occasionally just drop in and show off. Um, some uh, one of my bases just to give you an idea seeing that you can't get out and about and do whatever maybe uh this will be helpful for someone who's interested in checking one of these out or is kind of curious so i figured i'd start with uh, one of my more unique bases uh, my traveler tb4p uh traveler base four string precision style is what that stands for and here you go very nice sunburst finish i think they now make it in a couple other finishes red and maybe whatever uh it is a 32 inch scale base it takes regular strings the um show you off here get the spark tuner off uh at the headstock here there's like an aluminum bar that is built in to the headstock and that's the end string retainers you put the ball ends of the strings in here goes over the regular standard nut then goes down over a regular fender style bridge and wraps around a plastic barrel here and then uh, get used to the uh, the strings go into the machines here on the back side and you access the tuners here so you use regular strings this is the dario uh, xls which is uh, my main uh, my main string uh, and I, don't know, I can't seem to get myself in the whole base in here, so we're trying here. It has a um, Seymour Duncan pickup. It is a style of a um, of a Music Master or Mustang style base. Um, overall, and uh, one of the neat neatest features is right here. It's a it's a passive base, but it does have a battery, and the battery controls a headphone amp, and the headphone amp allows you to run an auxiliary in and your headphones out and the auxiliary in you know you can uh, plug in your um, uh, what have you mp3 player or your computer or whatnot and you can play along and it makes it awesome awesome practice base obviously it's great for traveling because i don't even know it's got to weigh less than five pounds um and um what else can i say it has a nice little backpack uh, type of uh case I carry it around on the motorcycle all the time. It works awesome in that sense. Um, so, how do you wonder? Does it sound? Let me see here. Let me get some adjustments here. Here's my super duper video quality going here. But uh, again, so you adjust the um, the tuning peg, the tuning here. This is your E and your G. A and D, obviously. We are going through my um, uh, Trace Elliott Elf head. I did get one back. I sold one and got another one into the two Trace Elliott 110 cabinets. So that's the uh, sounds. So that's full 200 watts going. All the uh, EQs are all the EQs are at noon. Um, and uh, the drive, uh, the gain setup is straight up and down. It's, I can do a video on the amp later to explain how that works. But here you go. I don't know how good this is going to sound through there, but you know, we'll do something else later, I guess. Maybe I can get better sound out of it. But that's just some screwing around. That is with the volume and the tone full up. Um, the one very easy to slap on 
one drawback I would say is that there isn't a whole lot of range in the tone. I'll sweep the tone here. Sounds like a P bass. <laughs> I played this out. I brought it down. I freaked out some guys. I'm like, what the heck is that there? And uh, what does it sound like? And it's, it sounds like a P bass. Um, so um, I've had this one for a few years. It's uh, like I said, it's, it's almost indispensable. So I got the tone um, maybe about halfway here. Fretz properly, it'll sound better. That's the tone halfway, and here, here's the tone all the way off. on the tone um that's the one drawback i would have but hey it's five pound bass it's less than four feet in length it'll pop right on the back of your motorcycle you can wear it on the on your backpack you can take it anywhere in a bicycle fit in an overhead um it's a gigging bass you can gig with this i use this uh on the open mics with it uh obviously but i've used i've used this as a backup bass uh it takes up almost no space whatsoever obviously the um, other drawback you have to be careful of is uh, if you look for a place to mount, you, you may want to mount a, um, a finger rest on it. Uh, if you go into the, the tuner holes, you run the risk of possibly, oh, I don't know, knocking yourself out of tune because you hit the tuner. But Going back. Oh, this tone halfway there. <laughs> Some of my horrible slapping. I'm not a slapper. Uh, I don't know if you can see the reflection there. there. But um, anyways, yeah, overall, I mean, the build quality of it is uh, very good. It's uh, $4.99, I believe uh, it goes for. I could be wrong. I know that I got 20% off when I uh, when I uh, I bought it. Um, gosh, I've had this three years now. I forget how long I've had it. Made in China, of course, but overall, I mean, good, solid, uh, good, solid instrument. Like I said, perfect for practicing um it balances well uh and again you know if you need if you just for travel or doing whatever it's a it's a great little bass so highly recommend it i'm not trying to get into uh will's uh, spot here with uh, reviews lobster love you uh but uh figured out what the hell i'm bored out of my head you can be bored with me i'll show off uh some of the instruments and uh feel free Henry and I, of course, are co-admins here of this uh, space. Uh, feel free to, to share your collection, too. Show off one of your bases uh, here or there. Why not? What else? What else you got to do? Let's uh, have a virtual meetup, I guess. Uh, you know, if anyone has ever gone to one of our base meetups, you know, you hang out, you show off your amps, you show off your bases. Yeah. The difference there is I can't hand this to you for you to play it. I wish I could. Uh, maybe another time, but, uh, right now, hey, whatever, you know, tone back up all the way. I'm just screwing around, not playing anything, but, uh, yeah, there you go. I figured I'd just share. I'll be back again at another time with one of the other bases, uh, and, uh, <laughs> Cool. There you go, man. Look look forward to one from Henry tonight. Just, uh, hey, why not, people? Go live and share and uh, let's just do it, right? Uh, share our lava bases out there and get some stuff. I'm actually kind of interested to see some of the other um, bases that people have. Uh, if you haven't yet, Will Colby, uh, 
uh, Low End Lobster on uh, YouTube. I'm pretty sure he, he shares his video. Check his videos out. He's got a really cool take, and he shows off uh, bases, and uh, he gives a great uh, way where he compares so you can see the bases in context. Like uh, the bass has a Music Man type pickup. Well, he has a Music Man bass so you can compare the sound to. Uh, and he's been uh, comparing... Uh, uh, the bass is lately to uh, what a precision bass sounds like. So you know what a P most of us know what a P bass sounds like, and you have that sound in your head. And so it's really cool, I think, to hear that um, that comparison, so you can get a better idea. So I know Will is, uh, and I don't think Will's out there watching now, but Will's doing a great job. Uh, please ch uh, support uh, his channel if you can. And um, and yeah, there you go. That's all I got. Just get out there. If you're not a, if you're not essential, unlike Henley. Henry's essential. You always are, Funkster. Take a break from your practicing. Share a bass with us. Why not? So uh, there we go. I'm uh, going to get back to the wood chat. I got a whole lot of songs to learn. And it's um, almost lunchtime, too. So whatever. Thanks for checking me out. Feel free to share. And uh, we'll catch you later. Peace out.